Welcome to Sorta OK Reviews, where every fandom's welcome here. I'm joined with my co-host, Brad Newton. And today, we are talking about the one, the only, the Black Panther movie, the movie that everyone is loving and adoring right now. All right, so this is a non-spoiler review. Uh, we should have a separate video up going over spoilers, but for right now, this is spoiler-free, so don't worry. Um, so what are your overall impressions of the movie? Overall impressions of this movie, man, I walked into this movie with the highest of expectations. I heard the early reviews, the day one Twitter reactions, and from the start, I was just floored. I couldn't wait, and then I finally saw it, and I can say... 100% it lived up to all those expectations. I'm very happy. I'm also very happy with this, with this movie. Um, I wasn't as hyped as you were about it. I, I thought it would be, you know, another Ant-Man style movie, but it went way beyond that. So, and earlier views for this movie were saying like it was like the second coming of the Dark Knight, which to me it personally wasn't there, but it was really good. It was a lot better than I expected it to be. That is a high bar. Yeah, I know. The Dark Knight is great, but Back to Black Panther, uh, we're talking, how about the characters? The characters of this movie, I think, are what bring this movie together. While Chadwick Boseman is phenomenal as Black Panther, we've seen him in Civil War, he was great there, and he is great here too, but the other, the women of Wakanda are fierce, talented, and amazing. Um, Killmonger is great. Martin Freeman was phenomenal a lot of people i heard were saying that they didn't like martin freeman's character really mm -hmm. a lot of people didn't like martin freeman's character they said he wasn't didn't add anything to the movie which i thought he did but i mean i got his character he was without going in you know spoilers but i it, it, i liked martin freeman's character he was maybe one of the weaker characters but not not too much but you know speaking of uh weak characters you know who was not weak the villain, which Marvel has been known to have weak villains, but this villain was clearly not weak. Yeah, uh, Michael B. Jordan played Killmonger, and from the trailers, I was kind of nervous about you know Killmonger. I thought he was going to be another run-of-the-mill Marvel villain, but I really enjoyed him. I mean, uh, he could be the best Marvel villain. Like, I mean, it's it's argument. He could be better than Loki. He could be better than Winter Soldier. Um, but yeah, he was just all over, all around. He was just great. One point I'll give better about Killmonger was with Loki, you know, he's a Norse god that had some real life problems where Killmonger, to me, he was, you know, a real human from Earth and he had real human problems from start to finish and it just, it, re it ma he made me think of just a real person in this day and age and I think that that's why I enjoyed him so much. He just took things to another level and I enjoyed every minute he was on screen. Yeah, I, I mean, you could make also make the argument that those other two villains have had a lot of screen time. Like, Loki's been in a lot of movies. Yes. Bucky's been in a lot of movies. I mean, this is only one movie. So, like, Winter Soldier's really good. I'd say he's right up there with them. It's, you could debate Winter Soldier, or you could debate mm -hmm. uh, Killmonger for best Marvel villain. Easily. And then, so, the other villain in it was um, played by Andy Serkis. Claw. Yeah, Claw. Now, Claw, they, they really um, departured from the old comic book um, Claw, where he was made of purely sound. This one is just, of course, he has the missing arm, but he's more of a, 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 smug, a trader. You know, he sells things on the black market. And when he's on screen with Killmonger, when he's on screen, you know, he's very kooky and crazy, but it works. It just, it works so well. It adds to the film and... I just I I find a, f a fun enjoyment when I watch him. Yeah, I liked him too. Uh, Andy Serkis, you know, always a great actor. But yeah, he at some points maybe was a little over the top with his acting, but overall a little bit. I, maybe he didn't like fit some of his parts, but I think that was part of his character. I mean, it was it was I, I his agree. it was you know him projecting like you know making his character a little quirky. And uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about was Wakanda. Oh, Wakanda! Wakanda was really Wakanda cool. Forever. Wakanda forever. <laughs> Wakanda was really cool. Uh, like the architecture of the buildings, you could tell that uh, they tried to they tried to blend culture. You know, you, it was like futuristic, but they also try to blend in like you know African culture and like stuff we'd see 
you know, in museums and stuff. So uh, there was a, a purple theme throughout throughout it. You know, with the colors, you know, they, they mixed the purple and black theme a lot. And then costumes. What did you think of uh, Killmonger's costume versus Black Panther's costume? Now, I enjoyed Black Panther's costume from Civil War, and seeing the upgrades that they added to this movie just... One, they they upped it even farther. I I thought it was sleeker. It was more, more powerful in the like the power of like, um the um, uh, of the kinetic force. It can be repelled. I I loved it. I just I loved it. And the, the women of Wakanda, man, those those guards just they look so intimidating and so yeah. powerful. And they just every time you're just like, okay, I would I would not mess with Black Panther because of them too yeah one of the things i wanted to add people were like you know giving praise to the amazons and wonder woman but mm -hmm. this this does it pretty well too the, yes. those f female warriors were look really intimidating and really badass so that's cool um and the last thing i wanted to bring up is the soundtrack now the soundtrack to this movie is is phenomenal the moment when you enter wakanda there's a score that is oh it feels like you're entering wakanda and it is amazing and it is just and kendrick lamar did have a lot of play in the soundtrack and some of the the music in this movie and it just when the action sequences come on when everything it's just it's phenomenal it adds so much more intensity to the to the scenes and it's just i'm so glad he worked on this movie and i think it was a perfect fit yeah, it was a, you know, the the songs not by Kendrick Lamar were like very uplifting. It had a very uplifting feel to the to the music. But you could tell uh, you know, certain parts in the movie when they were going to Wakanda, you know, that was more like the theme, like soundtrack. And then like when they're, you know, in other places not in Wakanda, you could tell that's where they introduced like Kendrick Lamar and all that stuff. Now, while we're praising this movie, did you have any gripes? I did, but uh, I'd be too spoiler spoilers, so I'm not gonna go into them here. But there's just a few. I mean, this was overall a pretty good movie. Yep, and uh, same with me. I have uh, one gripe. It's a very minor gripe. Uh, it doesn't have to do with spoilers, so I'll just say that the the scene by the the waterfalls um, are great. It looks amazing, but I will say, when you look at the uh, the background, the sun, the sky. I can't help but feel that it did look a little green screen like it was only for those scenes that I felt that I, I don't know if maybe they just didn't really look over it just didn't feel natural to me and it, it just took me out for a little bit but honestly it was a small gripe and that was really the only thing I had with this movie yeah I mean I enjoyed it I didn't notice any of that so everything looked cool to me um, the I guess I could say the one you know major gripe is there wasn't like a like a really cool like standout standout scene in it it was just like you know a really solid and good i don't good know movie. i i think that the the car chase scene is something to really without, look forward to yeah without going in it's spoilers again yep. and the the last thing that why well, i'd like to talk about is how would you compare this to the rest of the, the mcu uh for a, a standalone um movie i would say it's probably my it's probably my favorite honestly uh, with favorite. it just, with it just being Black Panther, no other, um, no other MCU characters. I enjoyed it so much. I want to go to Wakanda again. I want to learn more about the p different parts of their nation. I want to learn about the his more of the history, maybe about some of the other kings. What did they do? Because clearly, that's also one thing that really I liked in this movie was it wasn't just about him and his journey. It's about him becoming his own king and learning a little bit about the past and how this could be for the future of Wakanda. So yeah, I, I agree. I I'd agree to the point where it's probably one of the best non Avengers movie. It's definitely a top tier Marvel movie. It's you know, you, it's not gonna beat Avengers because you know, nothing really can at this point. It's because no single movie's gonna beat a movie where they're all together. Yes. But so without that disadvantage, I mean, it's my mo my favorite MCU movie since Guardians, and I really like Guardians. So, uh, final thoughts: uh, go see this movie if you haven't. Go see it multiple times. I mean, it's breaking it's breaking box office records. It's at uh, three hundred sixty one million right now. Go see this movie with a crowd. We saw it with the crowd, and honestly, there's there's those moments when the you know the crowd cheers and gets into it. 
But something a little different I noticed was that the, the crowd was just so into this movie. They were so just engulfed in, like, when things went down, you got some people wanting to clap, but they just, they, they couldn't because they just, they wanted to stay, they wanted to pay attention. They wanted to keep looking forward to what's next. They wanted to keep seeing on the screen. They didn't want to miss, they didn't want to hear, like, maybe not hear something. It was, it was great. It was phenomenal. It was, yeah, it's overall a good movie. We're probably going to go see it again, probably tonight. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to score the movie, and with our scoring we like to do, since it's sort of okay reviews, we're going to do sort of okay as a C, sort of great as a B, sort of perfect as an A, sort of bad as D, and sort of shit as an F. And with this movie, I gotta say, right off the bat, sort of perfect. It's, it's an A plus in my book. I'm going to see it probably five times if I can. Uh, I love this movie. I want to see a number two. I want to see him in Infinity War. I can't wait for more. How about you, Brad? Yeah, I agree. Uh, sort of, sort of perfect. I mean, I give it an A. It's a, it's definitely an A movie. Uh, it's definitely one of the better Marvel movies. There hasn't really been a Marvel movie that I really disliked. So, and this is top tier. So again, go see this movie. Sort of perfect. All right. Well, that's our score for Black Panther. We really hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope it helped. Uh, make sure you go see Black Panthers now playing in theaters, and uh, we hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.